what is Luis Abram going to bring to Atlanta United? And the quick and easy answer is the fact that we don't have to force Noah Cobb to play as a center back when he doesn't need to get thrown into the fire like that. Like He's going to be a mixture, I think, of depth and he'll start. He'll start probably plenty of matches this season. He'll give Parada and even, I mean, everybody wants to say that Miles is going to be the shoe in and he should be. But he's coming off an injury. You don't want to force something with Miles Robinson that you don't have to force yet. You bring in Luis Abram. His star period that he had was when he was playing for Velez. You definitely want to look at his time with with Velez in South America when you're when you're looking at what you hope you get out of this guy. But you also have to take into account the styles of play and why he was traded and all that. There will be times I'm sure that we'll see Pineda run out of three center back formation. And so you're going to have all three of them out there. And then you have Noah Cobb waiting in the wings at, at some point, if he has, if he, if knock on wood, the injury issue happens again in, in his prime. And even a little bit at, at Cruz Azul, what you saw from him is he, he's not going to be one to, to go one-on-one and put a ton of pressure on an attacker. He's going to position himself. Well, he's going to hang off the attacker a little bit and force them into backwards passes and things like that. He's not going to rush in, put a leg in, and get and get beat. He's very much all about if you, if you watch his his plays, at least what I've seen, very much an intelligent center back, which is what you want. You got a guy who seems like he's going to know where positionally he needs to be on the field. He'll be able to um, he plays fairly well with the ball, not afraid to tackle when he has to, but. I think the biggest thing is going to be his intelligence and his IQ. I think rotation will be very prevalent, at least in the early stages. You can't expect Miles to go 90 minutes from the jump. That's simply not feasible with a guy who essentially blew his knee like nine months ago. You might see a Perata. You might see an Abram, you know, two-man sentiment pairing from time to time. I mean, you may see Cobb get a little bit, not a ton of minutes, but you'll get maybe see him get some minutes. Yeah, that's why you brought up Abram. I think he'll start eventually alongside Robinson. I think we're just talking about that. But for now, at least, he's in there to rotate out and really take the pressure off Miles. Death is just going to be important for this season. And I think that that's really what the the front office is preparing for. I mean, look at Guzan and you look at the experience they have behind him where they didn't have experience they found a couple guys i think that have be a bigger higher quality than what they had going the last year and center back here i mean you never know what's going to happen luckily the uh, schedule congestion isn't terrible in the summer you get a you know a few more midweek matches but nothing like it was years ago you're good there but yeah you're going to need some some quality depth this is what everybody asked for right you had no real senior leadership on the team last year well, at least on the field basically from the time what Gazan went down but you're looking at a, a center back being brought in who has played around and he he's done well and he's been with a variety of teams you've got another guy back there who can can help usher things along and it can help somewhat dictate the tempo. Of course, that's what you want your midfield to be doing, but it'll just be nice to have another voice back there that knows the game.